but I must tip my hat to Michael Langham because it was all very well for Tony, <coughs> Tony Guthrie to come in, as he always does, and start festivals, which he was famous for all over the world. The Israel Habima he worked at, he started the one in Australia. I mean, he's gone everywhere and <coughs> created things. And then he opens it with a sort of champagne start and then leaves <laughs> for the next poor guy who to take over and do all the dirty work by pulling it all together. And no one was better than that at that than Michael Langham. But Michael had a <coughs> fairly rough few beginning years, did he not? Well, but that, from the but that company, was I when, gather, when Guthrie was still there. The two of them were running it. And uh, Guthrie was sort of slowly handing it over to him. And, and yes, he did. I think he did have. I wasn't there, of course, but, uh, right. did, but by the time I got there, he was master. And, uh, and he brought the French Canadians to Stratton. The Henry V was the bilingual. That was the first yes. wonderful political and artistic triumph that he, that he came up with. Jean-Louis Roux was it? Jean-Louis Roux and Jean Gascon, my dear friend Jean Gascon. And uh, there the whole company of uh, Théâtre Le Nouveau Monde came up and played their Molière in French at the Avon Theatre and uh, became the French court in Henry V. Give me, if you can, a, a sense of what it was like to actually walk out on that fresh stage, well not fresh, three years old by this point, into that building, because it is an exceptional place. Yes, of course all that magic had happened during the tent. Right. That was the big experience. Of it. <coughs> so it was just a building with a cover over it, but suddenly it was a little bit more comfortable because um, you didn't have to worry so much about acoustics and you were protected from the weather and it was safer. But then comfortable and safe is not, are not two words that, that should belong in the theater. And it had a tendency over the years to become comfortable and safe, Stratford. But not when Langham was there because Langham really pulled that company together and matured it like a good burgundy. It really did. Uh, while against Tony Guthrie's champagne, he he really matured it, that company. How? Well, because he, he used solid, he, he picked solid uh, supporting casts of the yes, guests. Still had Dougie Campbell and people like that, and Tony Van Bridge. And the middle weight was very, very strong. And they were very loyal. And also, how? Because uh, Michael had an intellect that was just as, I suppose, just as uh, formidable as Guthrie's. Uh, Guthrie sort of passed the intellect stage by being a bit of a genius, I think. But, mm -hmm. but um, Michael was more controlled, and he had a better administrative mind. Was he an academic? Uh, yes, I think he, he'd like to be, and he sort of tried to free himself. And that's why I think Michael went into the theater, to free himself from academe. Because um, I never felt a dryness when I saw his production. Oh, no. Even when I was young, that's oh, no, all no. He, there was no dryness. Under, to underneath it. that, that uh, rather scholastic, uh, shy, shy manner of his, uh, was a was a huge heart, huge heart, dying to get out. 